Hey everyone, welcome back to my shop. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to put the second coat on the paint on, in the grooves. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then I'm going to let that dry. I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to video any of it, but I'll, I'll video a little bit of it. Because it's just like putting it on the first time only. It's the second time. Does that make any sense? Anyway, uh, then I'll let it sit and dry. Then I'll take it outside and put it on my little, what I do is I drill a hole in the bottom. I don't know if you can even see it. I drill a hole in the bottom, just big enough for it to go over a nail that I have sticking up through a two by four. And I put it on that two by four and then I can spray it and turn it on that nail. That's about the easiest way I found to to do it. So let me get the paints all ready and the camera and we'll get on. Alrighty? Okay. Alrighty, there it is. Now I'm gonna just prop it up over here in the corner. And tomorrow I'm gonna go put it on my handy dandy, highly technical holder <laughs> and uh, give it its last coat of polyurethane. Then when that dries, then I will bring it back in here and uh, we'll start doing the tack thing. Alrighty? Okay. Catch you then. Okay. I'm going to start putting the, the tacks in now, but I had to change my strategy. 
I had to drill the pilot holes full depth because this maple is so hard when I went to put the tacks in they would just bend um, it was it was not good <coughs> so I had to go through and I drilled them full depth and then I put in a, a few of them just to see how, how they were going to go in. So, uh, and I don't put them in with a rubber mallet. Uh, I put them in with my small ball peen. I know it's not a tack hammer, but it's close enough. So, let me get the camera set up and we'll, we'll see what we can do, okay? Okay. Hey everyone. I really wasn't going to show putting in these tacks, but I thought to myself that uh, I, I think everybody should see that it's not just a, a slam dunk, uh, get her all done, and it, it only takes just a, uh, a minute or two. Uh, it, it's with the drilling, um, marking out, uh, it, it, it's quite a, quite a job. Uh, I did speed up the video a little bit, but, but not much. Uh, so I'm just going to let you uh, see what, what it took for me to put those tacks in. Okay? Alrighty. Thank you.
Well, there it is. I don't know. I, I guess it's okay. Uh, right now, I'm not wild about it, but uh, not a whole lot I can do about it now. It's all done. I guess it will. It's different. I don't have to say it's different. Let's see if I can. Uh, I guess for the first time working with a maple like this I guess it's not terrible well the only thing I got to do now is, is put a nice coat of wax on it polish and uh, it'll be completely done so that's it for this one uh, the next one I'll be doing is, is the blooming pear. Haven't got a clue what I'm going to do. Might not do anything. Might just uh, sand it down a little bit more on the 400 grit. Put a polyurethane on it. Maybe try to get some kind of a grip on it. I don't know, but uh, that's about all I can think of to do with that one. So, I'm going to let you go on this one. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked it, and we'll catch you on the next video. Okay? And remember, grab your cane, your hiking stick, your walking stick, whatever you use, and get out there because nature is beautiful.